Hello and greetings to your faces, my name is Giggle Squid and welcome to another episode of Free Game Friday. I have a, a game that I've been following for quite a while here and it is nowhere near complete whatsoever. But it has the most, it's very interesting, it's called Memory of a Broken Dimension. Now the first part here, ignore the, um, I don't know what code this is. I do do coding, but I have no idea what this is. I can, I should look it up. I'll, I'll overlay it on the screen. You'll see what, I, like, what actual code this is. But the first part of the game is breaking past this code wall, and you've got to try and get into the systems. And then it's a first person, uh, kind of. I don't know how to describe it. It's a first person puzzle exploration kind of thing. It's very queer indeed. Now it is locked to 60 and this is a very very early demo anyway before this breaks down anymore let's uh I think that's directory there there we go make that work so it's just doing a bit of things now uh, the next one is this is also kind of a tutorial for how to get through the um the first little bit here is it not real oh I can't oh, no, there we go remote uh, I did have to look this up because I spent ages just pissing about, just typing tons of different shit in here, uh, with varying degrees of success. But this is how you actually do it. So, lovely bit of void scan. And that will load up nice and deliciously. And then, once that has finished, we can get into the actual game. Now we dive. I love the sounds, the sound assets in this game. Also, quick epilepsy warning. Yeah, if you have epilepsy, please leave now. Just, oh my god, it's really... There's quite a lot of flashes and static, so... Warning, warning, warning. Right. Here's the first bit of the game. Now, yeah, you can see broken dimension. It's a bit broken. Now, you can hear that. No, oh, I didn't realise, but you leave a trail behind you. I have no idea what you are, but you can see there's like these... Imagine this is data. It's kind of fragmented and broken, that's how I'm imagining this. But if you align it in a certain way in your actual vision, it turns white, and then if you left click, it becomes a solid object. So the eye, that's the puzzle element. That's the puzzle element. You've got to try and align it all correctly until, there we go. So now if we go up here, now it's, very odd and very hard to get your bearings now we're just falling through layers of something now this one I've been I haven't played this much but I have been stuck on this one oh yes I think that's a pillar all right okay I think that's another pillar so um oh well, this one's hard it's really hard to also, the FPS is really bad here. I'm only getting 24 FPS and it's kind of locked to that at the moment. That's fine. I can't see what else I'm trying to go for here. What if I just... Hello? I can't quite see. Okay. So there's a pillar there. Or something. I bet you're half expecting something to pop out and go, rah. No, not a horror game. Don't worry, I wouldn't be playing it if it was a bloody horror game. I'd be too terrified. Now, how do I solve this puzzle? I won't spoil too much of this for you. This is just kind of just, you know, this game exists. And it's pretty damn awesome. Um, I don't know as for whether it's going to be a paid game upon release and what the actual gameplay and plot will actually be. Uh, unbeknownst to me. But as soon as I find that, follow me on Twitter. Also follow Outflow Gaming on Twitter. Go, go. Follow me on Twitter and I'll like post updates about it when I find out. Also, you can follow the developer on Twitter at XRA. That's his Twitter, at XRA. They posted the link to this game on his Twitter, so that would just be directly in the description. Also, a link to his Twitter will be in the description. I'm still trying to figure out quite what is going on here. This is very odd. I know the game doesn't, you can't progress that far in it at the moment, but I know that you can progress further than this. 
maybe I can kind of yeah that is I don't even I, like, I think viewing from the corners is quite a good idea maybe not I can't quite see okay so I, I from what I can gather there are like four pillars but I can't see any central kind of thing which is quite odd indeed Ah, where is stuff? I'm going to be right back after I've figured out where to go from here. Ah. Right, I'm just going to try and walk through. Oh, there we go. I just walked through one of the walls. Ah, oh, hello. Ha, ah, how curious. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, these noises are really creepy. Oh, tits. I've walked back into the next level. I wonder if I can just... I, I think I can keep venturing into just different levels. Because this all seems to be... This is... I don't even... I can't even comprehend! I don't even know what's going on right now. I'm just passing into tons of different levels. So this seems to be segmented, Tad. Oh god damn it. Oh, hello. I don't even... I can't do it! There's my terrible Scottish accent. I think this is... This is just repeating. Um... Maybe if I go from this... Oh! Uh... Yes! I made that solid. Well, I need to make this solid. How can I make that solid? Right, since I'm actually stuck here, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Because I'm legitimately stuck. I've been, I've been at this bit for quite a while now. And I am... I'm stuck. I don't know where to go from here. So, I guess, you know, thank you to your face for watching. This has been Free Game Friday, a memory of a broken dimension. It's very, very interesting. I, I implore you to go check it out. Anyway, my name is Big Google Squid. This has been Free Game Friday, memory of a broken dimension. Thank you to your faces for watching again, and goodbye!